In this video, I will be teaching you the power to a power rule for exponents and the power of a product rule for exponents. So let's look at the first example. 4 squared is being used as a factor three times. So I'm going to write this in expanded form just to show you how the rule works. All right, so if we write 4 squared out three times, because 3 is the outside exponent, it's saying 4 squared, you are a factor three times. Um, we go back to that product rule, and the product rule tells us to keep the base, which is 4, and we are going to add the exponent. So 2 plus 2 plus 2 would give us 6. All right, so we could get that 6 if we take the outside exponent and multiply it by the inside exponent. So that's our power to a power rule. So we keep the base, and we multiply 2 times 3, the outside times the inside exponent, and that gives us 4 to the 6th power. All right, let's go to power of a product. So we've got a product inside these parentheses. The 2 and the x cubed are each factors. So the 4 outside is telling 2x cubed to be used as a factor four times. So we're going to write that out in expanded form so we can see why the rule works. If you notice, there's four 2s used as factors. So that's 2 to the 4th power, which tells us that that 4 gets distributed to the 2 as an exponent. And then we would add those threes together because they're being multiplied. Remember the product rule, multiply, keep the base, add the exponents. That would be x to the 3, 6, 9, 12. All right, our power of a product rule says to distribute the 4 to the coefficient. And then back to what we did in the first example, multiply the outside times the inside exponent. So that's going to be 2 to the 4th, x to the 3 times 4 and that again would give us 2 to the 4th, x to the 12th. Um, your teachers may ask you to multiply out that 2 to the 4th power. That is going to give us 16, right? Because 2 to the 4th is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, not 2 times 4. All right, that's going to be 16x to the 12th as your final answer on that one. So our power to a power rule tells us to keep the base and multiply the outside exponent times the inside exponent. The power of a product rule raise the coefficient to the power outside of, of the outside exponent. We are going to keep the base and then multiply the exponent on the base with the outside exponent. We'll practice those a few times here in these examples. All right, this is a power to a power, just a simple power to a power. So we keep the base and we raise, multiply the three times five, which is going to give us three to the 15th power. Next example we are going to multiply the outside exponent times the inside exponent. There's no coefficient, so we don't have to do anything there. Keep the base, 6 times 4 is going to give us x to the 24. All right, now we have a product in the next example. So the 2 has to go to the 5 as an exponent. That's going to be 5 squared. And then the 2 and the 8 get multiplied. So that's going to be a to the 8 times 2. So we end up with 5 squared, which is 25 a to the 8 times 2 is 16. All right, in our final example, let's distribute the 3 to the 8, which gives us 8 cubed. x to the 3 times 4, multiply the exponents. y to the 3 times 5. Okay, so we're going to end up with 8 cubed. x to the 12th, y to the 15th. 